Howdy y'all, welcome back to another exciting episode of Science with Mr. Jacobs. This is Science, I'm Mr. Jacobs. Today we're gonna to be looking at how air behaves in syringes. We have a whole bunch of different setups. This way, if you're at home learning, uh, you can still keep up with what we are doing in class. We are starting with two syringes connected with the tube. The first thing that we're gonna see is what happens when we compress the plunger of this syringe and we'll see what happens. Cool. Shout out that. So let's see what happens if we go back. All right, go fill out your PDF for the two syringes connected with compress. Our next one is expand. So for this one, I am starting with the two plungers pressed all the way down. We're going to pull on this plunger to expand it. We are trying to give the gas as much space as we can. And when we let go, oh, the plunger shoots back. Let's see if the other side does that too. Oh. It does. Next one is a syringe with a clamped tube and we are supposed to compress this. So let's go ahead and I will be pressing down on the syringe and we will find out what happens to the air as it gets compressed from this large space into a smaller space. Shot off. Apparently we put too much pressure on it and it, like the gas eventually didn't like being compressed that much, causing it to shoot out. Our next one, same setup, except this time, instead of our plunger being all the way out, we are going to be pulling it out. So that way we can expand the amount of uh, gas that that or room that the gas has. So when we go ahead and we pull on it, that's pretty tight. We let go, huh? But hey, it's very similarly to when we had both of the syringes clamped together. The next one that we're going to be checking out is what happens when we play with a couple cubes, like this blue dude, who is fully solid on all outside. Um, we will be calling this the closed cell cube. We have a gray one which is kind of porous, meaning that it, it kind of has holes and it. it's kind of more like a sponge almost, or like Swiss cheese. And then we're gonna be seeing if we can figure out what a bubble wrap actually behaves like. Does it behave like the blue closed cell or does it behave like the gray open celled cube? So we'll real quickly get this set up. And it looks like on our PDF, it's gonna be a the blue first and we need to compress it. So we got our plunger all the way at the back so that way we can compress the air and we're going to see what happens to the blue cube. Go ahead and make a quick prediction on what you think will happen. All right, let's find out. As we press that plunger in, you can see that our blue cube has gotten a lot smaller. When we release that plunger, or we expand that air back out. We can see that the cube does get bigger. Now we do need to see what happens when we expand. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that plunger pretty much all the way. Don't wanna completely pancake my uh, blue cube. And we'll go ahead and see what happens when we pull on that plunger and expand the air. The cube does end up getting just a little bit bigger. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing except testing with the gray cube. Gray cube going in. We'll go ahead and clamp her off. Alrighty, gray cube. Now this is the open celled cube and we're gonna see what happens when we go to compress it. It just kind of moves along. It's not really changing any of its sizes. Okay, let's see what happens when we go to expand it. So I'm gonna again, close it so it's almost all the way shut. My clamp came off, we'll put that back on. All right, and let's see what happens when we go to expand the air in our syringe. Let's see what happens to that gray cube. Not a whole lot happening. Interesting. All righty, we'll move on to the bubble wrap. So we've seen how we close in an open cell cube, how they behave. How do you think the bubble wrap will behave. 
Go ahead and make a prediction real quick while I'm getting this set up for us. All righty. We have our bubble wrap inside the plunger, inside the syringe. Plunger's all the way back, which means we're gonna go for the uh, compress first. And let's go ahead and compress it and see what happens. Seems like it's gotten a little bit flatter. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we go to expand it. Kind of make it look like it's inflating and deflating when we press in and press out. Was your prediction right? Hopefully. If not, cool opportunity to learn things. So go ahead, finish filling out the PDF. Uh, there are questions that accompany it. And when you get that done, go ahead and uh, turn that in. Thanks for being awesome.